All right, coming up next, it's a bantamweight matchup between the Sugar Shoto Mountain part. and TJ Dillashaw. And now our tail of the team. The rule that you're playing in the um, more than uh, five years from. apart. Some differences oh, in yeah, height yeah, and reach. Yeah, everyone does. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. This is more spacious for the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this one three rounds of the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corners. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 feet tall, fighting at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA! Who are you playing online? Are you playing somebody online? Yes, sir. Bro, I, I don't you can still play that shit online? Yep. We are underway. Oh, you are playing the third. It ain't like you playing the fucking first one. Or My boy's playing, been playing the first one. I've been seeing him online play that I mean, shit. I'm like, I mean, bro, how the fuck are y'all playing the first one? Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. Nice Some shooter ball. Guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by O'Malley. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, he left his body wide open there for that hook shot, Joe, and he paid for it. He is leaning in. I know he's got the guard high, but that means the body is exposed, and the opposition took full advantage there. He caught the kick. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. <laughs> Jab. And he lands a nice kick. Oh, lands that punch. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Dillashaw. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. There's that knee to the body as well. Oh, a huge block there. Nice kick there by Dillashaw. Oh, jumping knee! Big body shot! He blocks the punch. Oh, very nice. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by O'Malley. Right hand upstairs. Dillashaw's facial cut is getting worse now, Joe. Man, is that thing fauceting blood. Slightly deflected. Mm. He's blocking almost all these shots. Oh, that is a well-timed knee right there, Joe. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes oh. on. Oh. He's looking to land the right. Just Dr. Fauci right. in the hood. We got this thing called oh, gunshots. him with the straight, beautiful place there by Dillashaw. Big left-hand counter shot lands. I don't know how corny I do play that from. Effective strike there by Dillashaw. That's your boy though. No, 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 no. Lily Maul, nigga. Who the fuck do you have? Who the egg be calling him that? Lily Maul. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, tag him. Round two straight ahead. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. There's a big leg kick. Excellent striking on display in that round. That nigga at cop, that nigga Jay-Z's pre-cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. She was hilarious. Oh, hell no. Nah. Like this nigga is stupid. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five minutes. He's playing an outstanding leg kick. Oh, nice overhand left, Joe. And he continues to work the body here. Dillashaw's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, the most significant stat in this fight has been body strikes. And at times in the past, maybe you could say he's been a headhunter. But tonight, he has worked the body to great effect. And those are really starting to take their toll. Absolutely. O'Malley gets absolutely... 
absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Good defense there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Dillashaw. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there? Oh, oh he's hurt. Oh, oh shit. second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round he has found the rhythm and found his striking range scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two very nice shots landing Ooh, blocks the shot They're both landing bombs on each other and that one's a great round to the target he's hurt big shots he's in the liver he's stunned oh. Let's go. It was that huge knee to the body Let's that stopped go. this fight. Absolutely right, Joe. And wait till you see the replay of the flurry at the end oh, of this fight. Let's go. Certainly it was that one big strike ah. that started it all, led to, to the, the knockdown, and ultimately the referee stoppage. And I think it was the right call. You didn't want to see the opponent absorb any further yes, damage. Sir. And both men. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of round <coughs> 2. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sugar Sean Well, Sugar Sean O'Malley had some doubters coming in here tonight, but he mutes those naysayers yet again. We congratulate O'Malley on another monumental UFC win, and the nature of this result figures to provide the matchmakers a lot of different options moving forward as to who might be next for Sean O'Malley.